Maybe Big Chip changed his mind. Oh, hang on, don't get excited. I brought the item. Ah, Big Chip, so good to see you. Uh, you're looking good. I trust Mama Chip is on the mend after that unfortunate barn owl incident. Just skipping the small talk, huh? It's fine, it's fine, but I don't hand over my item till you, uh, you show me the goods. Wait right here. Okay, I got the... Apparently wait right here means something entirely different in Chipmunk Keys. Hey, you can't take that, a deal's a deal. You dirty rodent, nobody double crosses for nobody. From now on, pal, you better watch your bushy tail, you hear me? You better watch yourself. What a disaster. Ah, uh, at least I have this. And after all that trouble, they better appreciate it. All of which brings us to phase five of our mission, the delivery of Little MacGuffin here to his happy new home. Oh boy, I'm finally gonna meet my special person. Yeah, Ranger Bart's gonna be so excited, even though he doesn't know he wants a dog yet. Oh, that Ranger will be excited, all right. According to my research, he is the perfect person for this pup. I just wish he didn't live on the other side of the no dog zone. That place gives me the creeps. Not to worry, Squirt's gonna be back here in a second and- Say my name, and I magically appear. And I got the goods. Excellent. Sparky, Mr. nut, -Nut. Behold! Whoa! The legendary bone of a thousand chumps. Chewed by dogs throughout the ages, yet it never, ever splinters. It's like an angel for your molars. Come on, guys, focus. This bone is not for chewing. It's for bribing our way through the no-dog zone. So no one touches it until... <gasps> I'm gonna do it! Good job, numbskull! You broke the bone of a thousand chumps! But that's impossible. Unless it's a forgery. See, I didn't do it! Squirt did it! Me? Uh, how was I supposed to... Now I'm never gonna get to Ranger Bob! There, there, McGuffin. We'll figure something out. Even if Squirt did screw up. Screw up? Oh, oh, you oh, that's okay, okay. 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 So, so this is the thanks I get? Fine! <laughs> Bunch of ingrates, I give, 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 and what do I get in return? Zip up! Now what? Oh joy, let me guess, Ketchum, you brought yet another stray mutt to brighten my day. Well, what do you know? It has a tag. I'll phone its owner to take it off my hands. I say, good fellow, but what on earth is up with that eccentric, bespectacled human and his taciturn dog-napping toady? Uh, sorry, pal. I only speak English. And, uh, do you notice anything a little, I don't know, odd about the twos of us? Odd? Not as far as I can see, but... Oh, <gasps> Great Gatsby! We look strikingly similar! Strikingly similar? What kind of hoity-toity malarkey is that? <laughs> Dare I say, I'm in the company of an authentic rough-and-tumble street chihuahua. <gasps> Bark for me, street chihuahua. Bark for me. Uh, look, pal, I'm in kind of a lousy mood, so if you don't mind creeping out some other dog... Uh, no, wait. Uh, where are my manners? Street dog, please, allow me to introduce myself. Cuddlesworth P. Wigglebottom, the third... I'm Squirt, the only. 
Oh, you must understand that all this earthiness is a rare treat for me. You see, I live all cooped up in a mansion, oh, showered with affection, hand-fed weenies, day after gluttonous day. So naturally, I just had to run away. Say what? I've heard tales, Squint. Tales of dogs who live real lives, helping wayward pups in need. Of course, I speak of the gallant pound puppies. You have heard of them? Heard of them? Heck, I, uh... Oh, Squat, introduce me, please! Why, if I could knock about with those captivating scallywags, it would be a dream come true! Wait, 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 let me get this straight. You would trade in your cush life just to be a pound puppy? In the beat of a servant's heart. Then, pal, have I got a deal for you. What? From now on, I'm Cuddlesworth, and you are Squirt, woefully underappreciated member of Pound Puppy Shelter 17. I... I'm a pound puppy? <laughs> Oh, goody, goody, gumdrops! Okay, you ain't squirt yet. And I sure as heck ain't you. But that can be fixed, okay? You teach me you, and I'll, uh, I'll teach you me. Ooh, delicious. Forget about it. Forget about it! Forget about it. Forget... Sorry, I forgot. What was the line again? Forget about it! Forget about it! I did it! By George, I did it! <laughs> Squirt don't giggle. But not bad. Not bad. With a little luck, you just might... Uh... Oh! Cuddlesworth don't scratch himself! He has people who do it for him. Oh. And here are my people now. Ooh, that's you! Bon chance, mon ami! I mean, beat it, chump! No, I feel so naughty. I have come regarding Cuddlesworth. Here you go. He's all yours. Cuddlesworth does not belong to me. I belong to Cuddlesworth. Oh, Cuddle Waddle, I miss you so much. I just cannot wait to love on you big time. Per my job description. Car ride, Cuddlesworth. And I bet someone wants to ride with his nose in the wind. And so it shall be. See you at the mansion. Huh. Now that's more like, finally, some appreciation. So long, suckers, and good luck, because I am out of here. Madam, we have returned. Cottlesworth, oh, my baby. Oh, I was so worried when you went missing. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, I love, love, love you. Oh. Pamper him. Yes, madam. Let the pampering commence. Eat up, Master Cuddlesworth. There's plenty more weenie where this came from. And for dessert, the bone of a thousand chomps. You know, it's been chewed on by dogs throughout the ages. Yet it never, ever splinters. Hi! <laughs> I did it! I did it! I am Scrappy! No fair! You tricked me! Do-overs! Very well, my good dog. I accept your challenge. I mean, you are on, homie. You know, I'm kind of worried about that little guy. What, Squirt? He seems okay to me. I don't know. He's been acting kind of strange ever since this morning. Maybe we were too hard on him. Aw, oh, you worry too much. Squirt is one tough mutt. Knock him down and he bounces right back. Come on, I'll show you. Drats, you beat me! Yo, Squirt! Squirt, where? Oh, that's me! And I'm a scrappy little dog! A scrappy, scrappy little dog! <laughs> okay, that worrying thing you were talking about, feel free to start any time. Uh... Drat! Out of cocoa butter. Stay right there, Master Cuddlesworth. <sighs> you know, a dog could really get used to this. I wonder what's next? Nap time, Master Cuddlesworth. Into your doghouse you go. Go on, boy. Nappy nappers. And don't worry. As always, I shall be right outside to protect you. Wow. Talk about your doghouses. I got my king-size doggy bed. I got my own toilet. I got my own drinking bowl. I got my own fat-faced cat in the window. Dad! Who, who the heck are you? Why, Cuddlesworth. It's me, Madam Picky Puss. You do remember me. 
don't you? Huh, yeah, sure. Uh, I remember you good. <laughs> <laughs> just look at him, Luck. What are we gonna do? Poor guy. He's been out on his own too long. Maybe he just needs more dog-to-dog -dog contact. But what about me, Mr. Lucky? When are you gonna get me to Ranger Bart? Don't worry, McGovern. Pound puppies never turn their backs on a pup. Or a friend. You've got an idea. Hey, Squirt! Yo, buddy fellow! Dude! Look, I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Truth is, we could really use your expertise right now. It's about our mission. A mission? Is this paradise or what? Why did I tell my chub niblet? What kind of plan is that? Look, he's been feeling ignored lately. We gotta bring him back into the team, you know? Let him be in on a job from the very beginning. I don't know. Trust me, I've got a good feeling about this. So, are you enjoying yourself, Cuddlesworth? Oh uh, yeah, I Cuddlesworth most certainly am. Another kibble canapé? Eh, don't mind if I do. No, I gotta say, life is good. All this luxury and whatnot. Mm. Some folks just don't appreciate what they got. Indeed. And lots of folks like to run away and leave their friends behind. Hey, you can't do that. I'm Cullsworth P. Wigglebottom. Hardly. You, sir, are an imposter. Yeah, uh, how'd you know? Cuddlesworth hated kibble canapes. Okay, Ranger Bart lives way over here. Here? Yes, there. You're having me on. I'm warning you what? You're pulling my paw. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Well, this Ranger Bart must be very tiny because I can't see a trace of him. <laughs> oh, I can't keep it up. I'm the one who's pulling your paw. <laughs> I can see little Bart right there. Oh, my, isn't it fun being scrappy friends in a filthy underground chamber? <laughs> oh, drats! Squirt, don't giggle! Okay, let's continue. Ranger Bart lives all the way across town, here. Right here? Yes, right here! But to get to it, we have to get through the no-dog zone way over here, which is prowled by some pretty rough characters. Ooh, zesty! Yeah, zesty. Now, here's the problem. The bone you got was supposed to buy us passage, so now we need another way through. <laughs> well, that's easy. It, it is? is? Rotten cat. I can't believe you did that. You got any idea how long it takes to get water out of these ears? Well, as a vile imposter, you did have it coming. Hey, don't blame me. It was Cuddlesworth's idea. Well, kinda. Knowing Cuddlesworth, I'm sure it was. <laughs> hey, hey, come on. You, you don't want Ralston to hear, do you? Cuddlesworth and I did everything together. We ate together, played together. I even let him use my litter box. But then one day, he heard about the pound puppies. And from then on, he was obsessed. Oh, you know dogs. But you don't understand. We were best friends. Oh, how could he leave me to follow some silly fantasy? Did I push him away? Was it something I said? No, oh, no, no. I bet it was just some misunderstanding is all. Oh, little imposter. I miss him so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know how you feel. I uh, kind of miss my friends, too. Watch and learn, my confounded cohorts. Now, how is it that Ralston makes these things move? <clears throat> Listen here, automobile! My friends and I need safe passage. Travel for us! I command you, travel! What the heck are you doing? You can't just jump into some human's car! Hi, guys! Hi! Remember me? Remember me? Huh? Rebound? You mean this limo belongs to Mrs. McLeish? Uh-huh, but she's not here. She's getting her hair done. So I'm in the car, and now you're here. Isn't that great? Isn't it? Huh? 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 Good grief! Hush, you babbling boob! We're on a dangerous mission! Now, where was I? Hey, you dogs! Get out of there! Sorry, pal, we just... Hold it, Luck. That's Big Chip. You don't want to mess with that guy. He runs the whole chipmunk empire around here. Good gravy! What a massive rodent! Excuse me, my chubby cheek chum, but we have a bit of a dilemma on our paws. And you see, it's like this. I was in a palatial empire. Oh, I tell you... Did you see that? Big Chip is afraid of Squirt. I knew it was good, but I had no idea he was that good. What's the matter, rodent? Cat got your tongue? Squirt, I gotta hand it to you. At first I thought you'd really lost your mind, but now it all makes sense. It does? I mean, of course it does. You're gonna bully Big Chip into helping us get past the no-dog zone, aren't you? Um, yeah, precisely. But how? Does he have an object we can use? Something to trade? That's exactly what it is. Now see here, you bucktooth weasel. You have something to give me. Don't you? Oh. 
I not? Hey, it's the no dog zone. Who knows what goes on there? Squirt, you did it. Looks like tonight our mission is a go. Master Cuddlesworth, your giblet sorbet. Do enjoy the sunset. Ugh. Uh, suddenly all this fancy food don't taste so good. Now you know how I feel. Ever since Cuddlesworth left, I've wasted away to practically nothing. Weird. Yeah, I thought leaving my friends was going to be the answer to all my problems. But now, I just kind of miss them. At least your friends didn't leave you. You're right, they, they didn't. This is all my doing. You know what? I think I'll go visit them. Yeah, it doesn't exactly work like that. Why not? I got into this place. I'll just get back out. What the? Naughty, naughty, Cuddlesworth. He shall remain locked in his mansion for the duration of the night, madam. Good, Ralston. Oh, I'd hate for my precious Cuddly Wuddly to end up at the pound again. No, oh, no, madam. Rest assured that henceforth I shall never let him out of my sight. All right. According to Strudel's intel, it's 15 hydrants from the pound. Turn left, head to the stinky dumpster. Right, past the dog park, another 30 hydrants to here. Make a left, and... Here we go, the no dog zone. Gee whiz, Mr. Lucky, this place gives me the willies. Cookie, please hold my ball. No. Don't worry, gang, we'll be all right. Squirt's gonna get us through this. Squirt, you're on point. Oh, sure, gotcha. <laughs> Adventure time and all that, right? <laughs> Although I must say in the stories, this part of Pop Puppy Adventures always seemed so much safer. <sighs> I am a plucky little street dog. I'm a plucky little street dog. I'm a plucky little street Who's dog. Who's he talking to? I have no idea. Maybe he has an imaginary friend. I have an imaginary friend. His name is Stevie, and he's a pork chop. He lives in my tummy. I love you, Stevie. <gasps> coyotes! Not just any coyotes. Hungry coyotes. How dare them humans? Nobody keeps me prisoner in the world's nicest jail. Ugh. Ugh. Wait a minute. Yikes. Master Cuddlesworth, come back here this instant! Shoot, I forgot! Don't worry, madam. I have him! Over here. What the? How do you think Cuddlesworth got out of here? Picky puss, I owe you one. Just send me back my Cuddlesworth. Now scat quickly, before Ralston sees you. Wait, wait. There's something I need. Squirt? That would be a really good time to do that thing you're supposed to do. Right? The nut! There! Be gone, coyotes! I have given you what you crave! <laughs> <laughs> this dainty little morsel seems to think we're vegetarians. Well, we're not. Gunnelsworth! <laughs> it's me, it's me, remember? Ha ha ha! You were mean to me earlier, but that's okay. Wanna play? Let's play. Can we? Can we? Can we? Rebound, what are you talking about? Uh, what are you doing out here? Mrs. McLeish is eating food with some friends, only no dogs allowed. So look at me, I'm tied up outside. Let's play, let's play, let's play! Uh, gee, that sounds like fun, but I gotta get back to my buddies at the pound and, uh... That's funny, because Lucky and Cookie aren't at the pound. They're on a dangerous mission. And, hey, how come you're not with them, huh, huh, huh? The mission? Oh, no, I forgot. Without me, they'll get eaten alive. Cuddlesworth! I got dibs on the big one. But I'll warm up on the little street dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who am I trying to fool? Listen, Coyote, contrary to appearances, I am not a plucky little street dog. You're not? No, and I'm not Squirt either. Say, what, what? are you talking huh? about? Oh, this isn't nearly as much fun or as easy as I imagined it would be. Truth be told, being a pound puppy is difficult. <laughs> I want my own life back. Do you want your own life back? Brother, you can have it. Wait, there are two of them? But which one's the real squirt? I he is. There's just no way to tell. Sorry to interrupt, but... But what, Shanks the Coyote? You, you know my name? Yeah, I know a lot of stuff. For instance, you're gonna let me and my friends here pass. What makes you think that? Cuz, I got this. 
the bone of a thousand chumps. That's right. They say it's been chewed on throughout the ages, yet it never, ever splinters. Hey, that bone is mine! <gasps> so, Shanks, we got a deal or what? Fair enough. You may pass. Sorry about the tough guy act. <laughs> but, hey, we're coyotes. We got a reputation to keep, you know? <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Squirt, that was amazing. I must admit, you truly are a dog of adequate breeding. Buddy, we each got something special going on, you know what I mean? I belong with these guys out on the street, doing what I love. And I belong behind a safe wall. What are you two talking about? I'll explain on the way, but right now, we got a ranger waiting for his dog. Hey, bud, thanks for trading. Hey, this whole thing was a real eye-opener. And, uh, FYI, you got a big fat feline back home who can't wait to get a claws on you, if you know what I mean. Ooh, I believe I do indeed. Cuddlesworth! <gasps> oh, Master Cuddlesworth, you naughty scamp! You've been acting like a common street dog. Thanks, guys! You bet, McGuffin. And remember, once a pound puppy, always a pound puppy. A puppy? Well, I'll be. Well, guys, I guess that's what it's all about. Everyone belongs somewhere. Except maybe for that guy Cuddlesworth. Yeah, where do you suppose a nut like that belongs? Oh, Picky Puss, I should have known all along that I belong right here by your chubby little side. Oh, bark for me, Cuddlesworth. Bark for me. <coughs> me, yeah. Oh.